In Win Automation, there are dedicated actions for different types of tasks one might want to automate. For example, if we want to copy or rename a file, we should use the dedicated actions under the Files category. However, in some cases, where there is no corresponding action available, such as when we want to automate a closed third-party application, we need to send mouse clicks and keystrokes as if Win Automation was a real user sitting in front of the computer. For that purpose, there's an entire category of actions available, and in this video, as well as in the video that follows, we shall see an example of how we can use them. Let's start by building a job that will create a sales letter addressed to a different recipient each time. First thing is to ask the user for the recipient's name to include it in the letter. We do this by adding a display input dialog action, some message. We change the name of the variable to the more descriptive recipient name, and we're done. Now that we have the name, we need to launch WordPad. To do so, we could add some send mouse click actions to click on the start menu, all programs, accessories, etc., or even send a double click on a shortcut on the desktop. That would work, but it would be slow and fragile. After all, the shortcut could be moved or deleted. Instead, and getting back to the point we made earlier, we need to use a dedicated action. In this case, we will use the Run Application action. Here we enter the name of the application, and since we want to send mouse clicks and keystrokes to it, we shall tell the action to wait until the application is fully loaded. OK. The next step is to send the text to WordPad as if we were typing it directly. We use the Send Keys action for this. And here we enter the text that we want to send. At the point where the recipient's name is required, we click on the Gears icon and select the variable that holds that name, as specified in the first action. As we write, we want to change the font to bold. In WordPad, we would do so by pressing Control B. The way to do this in the Send Keys action is to insert the Control modifier and, in the parentheses that follow, the letter B enclosed in curly brackets to represent the physical key of the keyboard. We do the same to return to normal font, and we finish our letter. OK, let's check out how well our job works. Works great. This is a very basic example of how we can automate everyday tasks by simulating keystrokes. Check out our next video, in which we will control the mouse to save the letter we created. Thanks for watching.